In episode 5 of I Shall Survive Using Potions, the narrative centers around the aftermath of Prince Fernand's realization about Kaoru's disappearance. He is burdened with guilt and concern for her safety, feeling responsible for the predicament she might be in. Meanwhile, Fabio shares an intriguing rumor about a girl in another town, who claims to be a friend of the goddess Celestine and has been performing miracles. This sparks excitement in Fernand, prompting him to embark on a journey to Balmore to find and bring her back, seeing it as an opportunity to make amends. On the other side, Kaoru reflects on her peaceful life and the precautions she has taken to keep her healing abilities hidden. Despite her desire to lead a quiet life, she encounters Francette, a knight, who recognizes her as a goddess. Their conversation unfolds as Kaoru downplays her powers, and seeks Francette's help in connecting with someone influential in the capital. Kaoru also prepares for a meeting with Earl Aiden's family, taking on a low-profile appearance to avoid drawing attention to herself. She then meets with a group of individuals to discuss the sale of healing potions, and establishes a plan for their distribution. The narrative takes an unexpected turn when Kaoru introduces herself as Alpha Kaoru Nagase, claiming to be Kaoru's sister, during a meeting with Prince Fernand and his companions. This revelation leaves them in shock, struggling to comprehend the situation. Despite their attempts to persuade her to return to the kingdom of Brancot, Kaoru stands firm in her decision to stay in her current location, leaving the prince and his companions defeated. Kaoru's potion business had taken off, with the Abili Trade Company handling distribution to various towns and territories. Express horses were used to deliver potions to those in need, and strict regulations were put in place to prevent illegal reselling. The distribution of potions had a positive impact on the health and well-being of the people in the Kingdom of Balmore, leading to a decline in injuries and an increase in the birth rate. The distribution of potions also had geopolitical implications, with neighboring countries such as Brancot and Asid benefiting from the blessings of potions. The Holy Land of Rueda, however, felt threatened by the miracles happening in Balmor and began to scheme against the kingdom. Simultaneously, the Oligod Empire, known for its militaristic focus, also saw the potential of the potions for military use and began to plan an invasion of Balmor. The next day, at the Adan residence, Kaoru meets with the envoy from Rueda, who tries to persuade her to go to the Holy Land of Rueda for safety. Kaoru questions Rueda's actions and exposes their alliance with the Oligod forces. She instructs Roland to send messages to other countries, exposing Ruida's plots and actions. Kaoru's interrogation of the envoy from Rueda leads to their arrest and removal from the palace. Roland is impressed by Kaoru's actions and evil grin, indicating that she is just getting started in her efforts to thwart Ruida's plans. And that's it for this episode, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.